so in unit 2 we have the statistical inferences uh, so initially we will see like why this uh, what is the need of statistics in a data science and big data analytics and then uh, we'll st uh, start with some statistical tools for uh, understanding the Uh, data analysis so statistical tools are like measure of central tendency which uh, consists of mean median mode and mid range then there is a measure of dispersion we have range variance mean deviation standard deviation bias theorem basics and needs of hypothesis hypothesis testing pearson correlation sample hypothesis testing with the chi square test and t test so this is all about the statistical inferences a very very interesting topic and um, as a as a data scientist or uh, as an analyst we should know the statistics behind the data we should understand what data wants to say to us via mathematics and that's the reason we uh, this unit is going to be very much interesting for all of us so let us see uh, about this so the most important aspect of a data science approach is how the information is processed and we when we talk about developing a insights out of a data it is basically digging out the possibilities from the data and those possibilities in a data science are known as a statistical analysis a simple uh, this is uh, how the data, statistical analysis is simply explained to all of us how the statistical analysis this statistical analysis is the possibilities in the data science this uh, like what what are the insights of the data and uh, how that insights of a data is getting being digged out this is what is my possibilities in a data science and it is also known as a statistical analysis see most of us will uh, think like a, da a data in the form of a text images videos and other highly unstructured formats and uh, they uh, they get easily processed by machine learning model but the truth is we actually convert that data into numerical form ye jo text images videos and jo kuch hai ye sab ko hum numbers mein convert karte hain and so that uh, it brings us to the very important aspect of data science so uh, with the data uh, with the data in the numerical format it provides us with the finite possibilities to understand the information out of it the statistics acts as a pathway to understand my data and process that for the successful result uh, even means not only the power of statistics is limited to understanding the data even it also provides methods to measure the success of our insights success of our decisions and to support our decisions getting different approaches for same problem and getting the right mathematical approach from my data so this is all like statistics always supports my decisions statistics says about my results statistics says about my result and it supports me for my results it supports me for my decision so this is how the statistics is very very related with the uh, data analysis there are few importance uh, importance of the statistics for data science uh, uh, like why there are few points for this so most data scientists always invest more time in pre processing of a data which we have seen in a previous uh, unit so uh, this require very general uh, steps that always need to be performed to process my data so first is identify the importance of the feature by using the various statistical test then finding the relationship between the feature here i get a statistic then converting features into the required format again i need a help of the statistics normalizing and scaling the data uh talking the data taking the data for the further processing by using required adjustment in the data after processing the data identify the right mathematical approach and once the results are come obtained the results are verified on the different accuracy measurement schemes so this is how where my statistics plays an important role so the data processing from the beginning 
to end of the complete cycle there is a requirement of statistics at every single step and we have witnessed all these things also in our previous unit for data preprocessing at every step we need a statistics and that's why a good statistician can always be a good data scientist please remember the statistician is always good scient data scientist as well so in our 8th standard class the statistics there was a chapter of statistics right and uh, in the mathematics and that time when we were learning that statistics we were the, we were not knowing the importance of it in our real life the real purpose of uh, that statistics in our life so the real purpose of it to combine different types of a data and to present it in the adequate and neat way that is what is my statistics is all about so let it be when we were young we, we were uh, school kids that time we didn't know about it so now we will learn again this statistics now we will have again a brushing up for our statistics so in simple words the statistics is the basic use of a mathematics in formulating a technical analysis of a data so it is used to process complex problems in the real world so that the data scientist and analyst can look for the meaningful trends and changes in the data statistical techniques and functions principles algorithms work together to provide us with an ideal statistical model please remember statistics is not only going through one line statistical techniques functions principles algorithms these all things work together and they provide us with the ideal statistical model if see if the data taken is a sample from a large population jaise maine aapko explain kiya tha ki we don't always go and study a complete population we take we pick up samples from that suppose i want to uh, make a study of a uh, farming land and say my farming land is in a thousand of acres so i cannot go and check every inch i cannot go and check the soil fertility level of the soil wind air uh, temperature everything at every inch of the land i will be taking some samples of a land and then will note down my observation so this is what is i called as a sampling right so if data taken is a sample from a large population then the data scientist or the analyst is supposed to assume the patterns and interpret them as a data from the large population solely based on the results of the sample size right so this may seems like a uh, surprising for us but uh, it is actually the way how do we do when we have a very high population correct okay. so statistical analysis has proven to be an elite way to analyze and interpret data in various different fields such as a uh, psychology business physical and social sciences production and manufacturing government etc so the statistics is already well proven tool at different fields uh, in other words what we can say data science is a perfect blend of a business mathematics computer science and communication right and that's the reason see uh, a data science even we have a definition of a data science something like this like data science is a concept to unify statistics data analysis and their related methods in order to understand and analyze the actual phenomenon with a data right so it's a blended or it is a mixture of different things to understand and analyze the actual behavior of a data so it uses a different algorithms patterns from the structure on structure data for to form the insights and the glean knowledge about that data correct uh, we can see this importance of a statistics in the data science uh, uh, with that what we can see is so uh, we have different ways in which the statistics helps in a data science so these ways are the prediction or classification 
तो क्या होता है कि स्टैटिस्टिक्स दिस आर द डिफरेंट वेज हाउ माई स्टैटिस्टिक्स इज प्लेइंग इम्पॉर्टेंस इन माई डेटा साइंस और हाउ डज द स्टैटिस्टिक्स रोल्स इन द डेटा साइंस so in a prediction or in classification i can say that statistics helps in a prediction and classification of a data where it would be right for the clients viewing by the their previous usage of a data correct uh, even it helps to create the probability distribution and estimation so probability distribution and estimations are crucial in understanding the basics of the machine learning algorithms that that we all know then uh, even we have this pattern detection and grouping so it helps in picking out the optimal data and weeding out the unnecessary dump of a data right uh, so it it helps even in spotting the anomalies from the data uh, it it gives me the powerful insights using dashboards charts reports and other data visualization tools and even it helps in the segmentation and optimization so it it also segments the data according to the different kinds of a demographic or a psychographic factors that affect its processing so it also optimizes data in accordance with maximizing risk and maximizing output so this is what uh, how my uh, statistics helps in my data science so we will see a uh, few types of uh, this statistics but that will look into the next lecture so this was all about the introductory part of how data how statistics is needed for the understanding data science or what is the role of statistics in the data science field